Definitely not. <laughs> and I know because I just did five concertos of Rachmaninoff. Um, in a way, he is so coherent. So for me, I know it was co-commissioned by an by an NCPA from China. So I feel like for him, the uh, the image of Chinese opera was very apparent. And he was he had eight characters. So it's throughout the the whole narration. From so you um, for me, it's it's like one huge movement. Actually, it's a one story, um, very much expanded. Yeah, but but physically, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, I can. We can interact and we can uh, modify while we uh, we can improve <laughs> those things. We change while we are creating. So it's in the process of creation, and also it's very liberating because it's nobody ever played it before. Uh, it's not like there's a tradition of playing Beethoven or the Brahms uh, or Debussy, um, but. Nobody played this before, and it's like um, reading a play, and you have complete freedom, but also responsibility and also conviction to to make it come alive. Um, that's uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. It's definitely very different from from the dead composers. <laughs>